Hi everyone, it's Jay from Itoso Crafts. Thank you for joining me today. I would like to show you how to create a pop-up twist panel card and I'll be recreating one of our class projects from a couple of weeks ago. So you'll be left with a 10 by 14 centimeter card that pops up. So we've used the Irresistibly Floral DSP, watercolor wing stamp set for the sentiments, the flourish thin lit dies as well as the layering circles frame lit dies. Okay, so I'll be recreating that but changing it up a little bit. Okay, so we start with an A4 piece of card and this is what we'll be doing with the card. So we'll be cutting and scoring. Okay, we'll get our trimmer out. So starting with an A4 card lengthways and cut at 28 centimeters. Turn 90 degrees and score at 2 centimeters. And cut at 4. So you, you can either turn it round and cut at four or use the right hand side and align that to two centimeters. So I've just turned it round, so but I'll cut at four. So score discard at 14 centimeters turn 90 and cut at 7 so now we are left with 3 card sizes. So this one would be for your base card. You just use a bone folder. This one would be for the panels. So just score that and bone fold. So with this one, if you just score at seven, and then turn it round again on the other end for another seven centimeters. Okay, so you'll have um, mountain, valley, and valley. And just use your bone folder. Okay, so it should look like that. So for the mechanism, um, we cut that at 21 centimeters. Okay, mark at 8.5, the top and the bottom. So just slightly mark it. as well as 12.5 centimeters. Again, for the top and the bottom. So just to show you, I've just lightly marked it. Okay, we are now going to score diagonally, which we can use our trimmer, just by aligning those two points across. And then on the other side. Okay, with this one you 
fold inwards, so valley. And then mountain folds along the diagonal score lines. There we go. And then just pinch it in and take, turn it down. And that will be your mechanism. Okay. So I've gone ahead and prepared some of the DSPs and die cutting, but we're going to decorate the panels first before I continue constructing the pop-up panel card. Okay, so we use the irresistibly floral DSP. I'm just gonna put it across. And what I've done with the third one, as you can see, is I've used the layering circles to die cut two different sizes. The inner one would be for the bell band and that one for the, to frame the scalloped bear vanilla card. Okay, I'll just adhere that. And with the irresistibly floral DSP, I've actually used the sponge sprayers um, just to color in the background. Um, so with the sponge sprayers, I tend to work on one side. So if I just quickly show you. Um, so just make sure your sponge sprayer, just roll it across the ink pad, making sure that every single point is called, um, inked up. And then just go from off the page and into the DSP. At first it doesn't seem like you're actually calling the card, but the more you go over it, uh, the more it will darken. Um, and then just go on one side and I always tell our class att attendees it's better to put less because you can add more you can't take away afterwards so that's I'm happy with those three and we'll just make up our panel just to remind me of that so that's gonna go like that so the irresistibly floral DSP I've actually cut um, in six by six centimeters line it in the middle there you go so I've also used the uh, Floor stain its dies and pr cut up the actual, I would say, the banner. And we'll just add that in the corners. So 
So the fine tip glue pen would be great for this. I'm just lightly gluing some areas for demonstration purpose. This one I've just cut in half as well. Okay, so those are done. So for the base card, I actually line it up and just lightly score at five centimeter along there. So you can align the mechanism neatly. Okay, so for the mechanism, you basically glue the triangular area. And I just like to spread out the glue just to make sure all of the glues, all of the surface are going to get glued. So just under that mark, make sure it's in the middle. This is a bone fold. And then we glue the top. it would have worked there we go we'll just wait for the glue to dry so whilst that's drying inside we can go ahead and decorate the front so what I've changed it up slightly to the A um, what I've done is I've used the hardwood stamp on bare vanilla card and I'm just gonna add here that to the front of the card Alright, so we can now adhere the panels. So the way to do it is, so you basically align the center point of the panel to the center point of the mechanism, or you can fold it up like that and close the card and sandwich it in between those I don't know if you can see can you see like that so then you can make sure that it won't jut out of the actual base card but you're only gonna be gluing that side there and on the other side the top there so it's actually easier to show you if I do it this way where the glue so just make sure that's in the middle again just gauge it by eye so that's right so we'll be gluing 
the tabs side like that And then on the other side, you glue the bottom part of the mechanism. So it's there. And just spread it out. And so hopefully this works. So to close it up, just give it a bit of a wiggle and help it a little bit, so then it just goes down. There we go. So you have your pop-up panel. So just to decorate the top and the bottom, I have used, um, again, the old DSP, but this time I've brayered in melon mambo um, and pear pizzas just to create a different look um, maybe that way okay we'll do it that way and just eyeball that so with the DSP, the measurement is 9 by 10. I didn't go all the way in because this, you can't really see it. So you can save on your DSP. <laughs> but you could always go up to like 10 and a half if you want to. So it's not touching the actual mechanism. Okay. Again, eyeball that in the middle. Okay. And finally, for the belly band. So I have another smoky slate um, card, one and a half by 21 centimeters. There, uh, mint macaron card. I'm just gonna add the DSP on top. Okay, use the other half of the flourish die. And I'm actually going to put, I've stamped another sentiment on a banner there from Watercolor Wings. Just add that at the bottom there. There we go. And just to add the belly band, just make sure. Just close that up. And then just glue it down. go so that's the pop-up twist panel card hopefully you learned something new today all current stamping up products you can buy on an online shop 
um thank you very much again bye